Hello Battleborn. Uh, today we're going to be doing some dojo training with Wrath and his legendary lore item. Now, most generate characters have some form of lifesteal. With Wrath, he uses uh, Axiom and Praxis, his, the name he, of his blades. As he attacks, he absorbs uh, lifesteal with those. Okay, so a base of 7% uh, or sorry 8% damage from melee attacks and then he gets a 10% damage from skills as a base uh, however his legendary lore item is such that it improves that genetic siphon which is what it's called up to 10% so uh, for each for each strike what we're gonna try and find out and this is gonna be very very difficult to do is if see if that once if, if that's uh, if that attack stacks in perpetuity or if it has to happen against a single target now we're fighting against little bitty minions so those things don't have a lot of life so this will be very hard to just lay into them you'd have to have an elite bot or sentry or something like that to see if those numbers would go up uh but it's 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 hard it's hard to isolate this one anyways so uh we we'll just go ahead and um some take some some skills just to get us up a little bit um you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try the double jump. I haven't done that in a while. Silence for sure. And then here, I'm not going to take the Swordsman's Self, only because that will screw up our measurements. So I'm going to go ahead and take a Skillful Siphoning, and uh, also not uh, not a Vampire either. So um, I'm trying to uh, isolate it down to a, a small percentage so that we don't have any other... Um, uh, we don't have any distractions, okay? So here we're at level seven. We have to take some damage in order to to see the effect. We only need to take damage from one of these guys, really. So we can let, remove the other ones. Okay, so we're 1370, five per hit-ish. Five or seven per strike. Okay, that looked like that was the case. Five to seven per strike. Uh, we'll be able to see it better with the shield here. We're getting several at a time. Oh, there's a 16. It looks like about 5 to 6 is per strike. Something like 5 to 8 per strike. Okay, it depends on whether he hit a hit or a crit or whatnot. That seems about right, okay? So now let's see if we can, can't take that, which is currently at 8%, and get it up to 10%, okay? So we're gonna have to take some damage first. <clears throat> okay, take some damage. And then we really don't need all these guys because that'll take only too many. Okay. Take some damage. Okay, 25. Let's get rid of the shooter so we can actually isolate it. Okay, 1205. Six. I got up to seven. Okay, now that was seven, so I don't know if this means that these will heal for seven. Nope, they're back to normal again. Um, it's hard to see these numbers when I'm... But it looks like it is jumping quite a bit. It looks like it was, as I'm being consistently, as I'm consistently hitting them, it is in fact adding at 1% per hit. Uh, each use of genetic siphon seems to think that each time I swing my blades, not each time I hit something. But that is, that is, that's healing. We're healing a little bit, a little bit faster. That's not actually terribly bad for um, for Wrath. Normally, he's it's it's a pretty slow heal, so that's actually not that bad. Um, we will have to eventually um, uh, uh, eventually have to take the, take this item out and say, well, okay, what other items can we put with this loadout to make it even better? Uh, well, there are some. There's like a least shield brooch, which is also life steal on skill damage. Um, there is a generate item that says if you attack anything that's not generate, you get life steal. Which these guys are not generate, even though they're red. They're not generate. Okay. So, what the idea is is, can you heal yourself without a healer? Now that's always been Wrath's uh, issue. He used to have heal quite a bit, and then they nerfed him. But I don't think that you can be sustainable. Well, again, we'll have to run it, run a scenario where that is uh, a loadout in an actual meltdown match or incursion match 
to find out if that's is actually sustainable. But for now, it doesn't look like it looks like this is um, decent. It's decent, and it looks like that thing spikes. That healing spikes every time we hit, but then it drops off. So I don't know if it's a five-second drop off. I don't know if it's a. Um, I, I I just don't know. I I mean, we're gonna have to let ourselves get hurt quite a bit and find out what happens. So let's see. Ready and. I think all it does is just doubles that base effect. I mean, from original we started with 8%. And see, it doesn't, the genetic siphon, it doesn't show the other 10% that we're getting. Uh, but this is considered a siphon whenever we hit something, right? This lifesteal effect is considered a genetic siphon. So this should be healing us quite a bit. Then we can isolate one and get those procs up and then turn around and hit the others and get the heal. Maybe that's that's how you, you play that. But Needless to say, it's it is adding health. It's just not adding it in abundance. So, um, if you think you're going to be a, immortal as Wrath because you have his legendary, it's probably not true. But it doesn't mean that it won't help if you have another sufficient loadout to go along with it. So, anyways, this is the improved genetic siphon. Uh, this is Wrath's legendary. Hope you have fun with it. Catch you guys later.